guys. Good afternoon. It's me, Callie. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, I last saw you on Wednesday for my What's Up Wednesday, and a lot has happened since then, so it's been a busy week. Uh, I shared with you that I took a trip to Walmart uh, that day, and I never showed you what I got, so I'll show you today. I have a lot to show you today, actually. We did go to the auction last night, so get cozy, get whatever you're drinking. I got my green juice, still juicing every day. Um, yeah, and there's a lot, a lot going on. I feel really positive, really motivated. Things are just really, really good. So I hope the same can be said for you guys. Um, after, let me just jump in with what we got at Walmart. And I also have a few things that I had gotten in the mail that I told you guys I was waiting for from Amazon. One of them was kind of a disappointment, but I don't know. What are you going to do? I bought a pentagram stamp. And, you know, you can, I saved it to show you guys. You can punch it out. What do you guys do with these? I don't have an acrylic block. I guess that's what you do with them, right? I should get a block for it. Um, I actually just saw uh, my dear gypsy sister, Rita Marie, just used a stamping block. Rita, where did you get that? So I thought, oh, it'd be cool to get like children's blocks and maybe make stamps like that. But what do you guys do when you just have these things? Just use them. By hand but I was a little disappointed that it was unmounted but I guess I should be happy that it's a beautiful stamp right it's kind of like twigs and leaves so I'm looking forward to using that and then to go along with that I told you guys that I needed a new stays on pad so I got that nothing is more annoying than stamping something onto your work and having it schmear can't stand that <laughs> Um, also from Amazon, I got, and I had been wanting these and I told you guys, and I've shared with you in the past that I've made my own alcohol inks from cut up markers, magic markers and out rubbing alcohol, like 91% rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and they work fine, you know, but the colors aren't as vibrant as I would like. And I've always had a little bit of envy for these Tim Holtz inks okay the Adirondack inks by Ranger so I got two sets uh, this one has cranberry lettuce and eggplant and I know these are look I'm so late getting on the board with these but that's how I get my supplies a little bit at a time a little bit at a time I started with nothing right a couple you know um, so I'm blessed for every new thing that I get but anyway and then these, which wild plum, butterscotch, and stream. So I thought that was good to get started, and I'm excited to use these. I've seen some amazing tile work done with, um, I'm on a tile kick, can you tell? With alcohol inks, and what are you guys' favorite projects to use your inks for? Let me know. So that came in the mail, and something else that I'm super excited about. And I'll tell you what I'm going to be using it for. Um, I kind of asked around you guys what journals you might recommend. And I did my own research on Amazon and stuff. And I settled on this. So this is my very first official art journal that I've ever bought. Every other one that I've ever used. You guys have seen. I've shared with you. And they've all been made out of recycled materials. I thought it was time I would break down and buy myself a brand new art journal. And I'm really, really excited. Um, some of the different projects and groups that I want to um, join in on, I will be using this for. Um, the first one that I'll be doing, in addition to, of course, the Gypsy and the Witch, but that's in a separate journal, um, which is coming out on the 15th. So I'll leave the link below if you haven't checked out Miss Rita Marie and I, our Facebook group, The Gypsy and the Witch. You're welcome to join along. It's a creative journaling journey with new prompts every month. So uh, anyway, um, Mike Deacon. I love Mike Deacon. Shout out to Mike Deacon. And Mike, I'll put a link to your channel below. If you guys haven't, everyone knows who he is. But if you haven't yet checked out Mike, check him out. And he has started a new endeavor for the new year. And it's called Mission Inspiration where he posts each month in his Facebook group 10 prompts. And I love that. And I've shared with you guys in the past, I've used the inspiration sticks from uh, Crazy Island Family, 
Claudia Rossi, Gina Ahrens, Peter Thompson. And I did many journal pages using those prompts. And I love that because it really forces you to work outside the box. Every journal page I do, I try to do a little bit differently, but you do get your own style going. So using the inspiration sticks is really helpful. So anyway, segue back to my, Mike. He is posting 10 prompts each month and, you know, he encourages all of us to follow along and share our version of what he's doing. So Mike, my first page will be done in this journal and I'm going to work on that today in addition to my Gypsy and Witch page, which I need to get started on. This month is already getting away from me, right? It's been a woo whirlwind, right? So super excited. Haven't even opened it. I've been saving this stuff for you guys to share with you. Um, another thing that I got this week that was gifted to me and is so sweet. Um, I shared with you, you know, I live in a very small town and it's great. I love that kind of sense of knowing each other and I moved around so many times. I've shared with you, I've moved over 40 times in my life. I'm 51 years old. That's a lot of moving. So to now be in a place where, you know, like cheers, everybody knows your name kind of thing. I love that. So one of our friends is the postmaster. And in addition, you know, he's just wonderful. So he knows that I do art and shout out to Joe. Hey, Joe. Um, so he's given me paintbrushes in the past and things like that. So he gives this bag to Tom, and Tom gave it to me last night, and inside it, and I thank you, Joe, so much, there are these uh, glass paints, like stained glass paints, and there are two packages of military colors paint set. So they're like stained glass, they have neutral gray, olive drab, flatback, dark tan, gunship gray, and silver. Um, and this, I guess the purchase of this helped hospitalize veterans, which is amazing. And shout out to all our veterans. Um, my dad was in World War II and Korea. Um, my stepdad was, was in the Navy. Um, my son-in-law was served time in Iraq and was injured. Uh, yeah, um, shout out to our veterans. But anyway, thank you, Joe, for these paints. And in addition to that came along this sun catcher and it's a patriotic sun catcher and it's got a motorcycle and Mount Rushmore and thank you so much Joe I'm gonna use this with my grandson I think this will be great um, and he could paint along and there are some suction cups and a whole thing of paint so um, I thought that was very sweet and I'm, I'm super blessed I really really can't even tell you guys how thankful I am um, so I do tell you all the time how thankful and grateful I am. So that was from Joe. And then another thing I've been wanting to share with you guys, I told you a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago-ish, that Tom was able to reunite with a dear friend of his from the past uh, who knew him around the same time that I knew him 23 years ago. And she's really cool, Sadie and her partner, Elise. And they were in bands together and... It just hung out in a really cool scene and in the city and um anyway they know this chick this chick named Lydia Lunch and Lydia Lunch is well known in the punk scene in New York and amongst other things has decided to write a cookbook so Sadie gifted this to Tom and or us you know and there are some really great recipes in here, and it is so cool. The cookbook itself is just wild. Um, it's it's just, I can't even describe it, you guys. Uh, let me see. The, name, the, the chapter uh, introductions, chapter one, feed your head. Chapter two, make them beg for more. Chapter three, this is going to hurt you. Chapter four, do, do me a quickie. Chapter 5, Who You Calling a Puta? Chapter 6, The Killer Inside Me. Chapter 7, Sweet Freak. Chapter 8, Party Monster. Chapter 9, Weekend Detox. Okay, those are just the titles. Uh, and a review on the back says, The need to feed is comfort food for all starving artists who, like me, crave something a little bit nasty that nourishes more than just the body. So, uh, recipes for deeply satisfying foods 
Lydia Lunch. And like I said, it's not 100% vegan, but there are many, many um, right here. I keep opening to this, so I got to make it. Curried red lentils. Um, warm quinoa salad. Spicy chickpea stew. Pasta with beans, greens, and onions. Falafel. Roasted garlic, spinach, and wild mushroom pasta with truffle oil. Hello. Sign me up. So check this out. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to try some of these recipes. Specifically, the uh, lentils have been calling my name. And I'll get back to you, and I'll let you know how that is. So very cool. Cool stories. And that also motivated us to, if you guys haven't seen two things I want to recommend on Netflix, the um, CBGB documentary, which is really not a document. It is, you know, based on fact, um, but they embellished a little. But amazing uh, true story of CBGB. The um, started out to be a country blue country, CB country blues grass club in the city. Um, which became the the le la leaping point for many, the Ramones, Joan Jett, Blondie, the Sex Pistols, you know, just like crazy people, Lydia Lunch. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that documentary on Netflix, which is CBGB, and the other one, which everyone is talking about, and oh my gosh, I have two episodes left to watch, and I'll probably watch that, well, I'm going to watch it, finish it with Tom. Tom and I have been watching it, uh, is The Making a Murderer. Hello. If you guys have not seen this, you must see it. It is a must see. It is 100% true. It is happening right now. Um, and I can't recommend it enough. It is mind blowing. Okay. Uh, anyway, so those two CBGB and making a murderer. And I watched the uh, American Horror Story this week. So that's winding down. I, I don't know about you guys, but yes, there's it has its moments of wonderfulness, but com I, it's hard not to compare it to the other seasons. Really not feeling it as much as the other seasons. Loving Lady Gaga, loving Elizabeth Taylor, my two favorites, and Sally, of course. So the acting I love, but the storyline is so all over the place. It's got a million things going on. So I don't know. And you know what? Kathy Bates... Personally, I loved her in Misery, loved her in Misery, okay? And I'm not a fan of movies made from books, and I'm a huge Stephen King fan. You guys know that. And I loved Misery, but she did it justice, okay? They, the movie did it justice. But it seems to me that that's the only role she ever plays. She is playing that same role over and over. So I'm kind of annoyed with her right now. I'm over it. I would like to see her stretch out. I mean, she did The Bearded Lady in... Um, in the last season and even then I just it was like Kathy Bates with a beard you know so not my not my thing so what do you guys think are you liking it this season I still think I loved Coven and the first murder house I think was the best one so let me know if you're American Horror Story fans um yeah I'm all over the place la 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 la, la. so that were gifties and then Walmart I did not get the lava lamp nightlight. I would have gotten it. Well, first of all, those kinds of things really can cause fires, you guys. And not to be paranoid. Um, but it's reality. And also, you know what else have been known to cause a lot of fires that a lot of people don't know? Those plug-in air fresheners cause many, many, many fires. So not a good thing. And not a good thing to have those kind of fake chemicals brewing in your house uh, anyway. But which has nothing to do with a lava lamp. I love real lava lamps. And right now, I can't even believe I don't own one right now. I've had them throughout my whole adult life. Tom's got a couple at his house at the cave right now. Uh, but if it were real, if it really moved, I might have got it. But it wasn't. It was like a fake plastic ball. They made it look like a lava lamp, but it didn't do its thing. So what's the point? I don't need a nightlight, you know? So I didn't get that. But what I did get at, right, at Walmart... Uh, was you guys saw on the on camera that I broke down and bought this LED desk lamp and my sole purpose for buying this is to mount a webcam on and I want to apologize to you guys for I posted the galaxy stone tutorial this week and thank you for the love I've received on that but 
I almost didn't post it because the camera was so shaky. And I'm still waiting for the webcam. I always have an excuse, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm making excuses. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, not sorry. I'm waiting for the webcam right now. So I'm doing the best I can. So I still had to mount it. And I didn't... It didn't work out. It was sway -y. And someone even commented, which oh, it kills me because I'm so hypercritical of myself that when someone else brings it up, I get, you know, like, when I called Tom, I'm like, do you think it's too shaky? Should I take it down? So it is a little shaky in the beginning, but I think you get the gist of the information. But long story to tell you why I'm buying this lamp that I'll be able to adjust with the webcam on it. So we bounced around a few ideas, mic stand and... I know Rita has one mounted to her wall, which is really cool. Not practical for me here in this cottage. If I own this cottage, that'd be fine. I'm not going to mount things on the wall. I got to kind of live in this space too. So I wish, you know, someday I'm going to have my own art studio and then that'll be the, a whole different world. But right now, anyway, I'm very thankful. I got the light. And of course we walk into the auction last night and what is the first thing? I'm not even kidding you. Right inside the door on the floor is this beautiful big, lamp you know same kind of thing only bigger and it didn't go up for bid if it did and i could have got it for a couple dollars maybe it'll be there next week i'll get it just to have an extra like i need an extra but so we got that and then i also bought um a new little flexible tripod because i shared with you guys the one that i got from the auction the leg broke so this was i think nine dollars or something so in the meantime i you know i have an abundance of tripods um, and once I get the webcam, I'll be in business because then I'll have that overhead view and it'll be attached right to my laptop. See, this had to be explained to me because I told you guys, I don't do technology. So Tom explained to me how that's going to work and hello, that's what I need. So that's what I'm getting. And I also wanted to share with you guys something that's happening in my life before I go into the auction hall, something that's going on right now that is like life changing. Oh, and I just looked down. Speaking of life changing, my gum, I told you, I still have it wrapped up with my rubber band. Um, this is doing extremely well. What time is it? It's quarter to 12. I had a piece at 9.08 this morning, which for me is amazing. So I'm hoping to segue out of the gum by the end of the month, she says, hopefully. I don't know why I can't just do it cold turkey. But anyway, this is working. So I'm happy about that. <coughs> and also, you know, God bless the power of YouTube, right? Or curse the power of YouTube. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I don't know how or why or what came up in my feed. But randomly, I was going about my day and looked up and someone was talking about the Kanmari method. And I just said to you before that I'm late getting on the boat. I'm late getting on the boat of a lot of things. And I also don't tend to join in on a lot of things when they're going on. But for some reason or another, and I thank the universe, this came up on my feed. And I'm like, what is the Kanmari method? And some of you may have heard about it. Apparently it was really big last year on YouTube. And a lot of the, like, um home decor, stay-at-home mom set. We're really into it. Excuse me, I'm getting a little bit of a cold. What the KonMari method is, is based on a book, and I'm looking at my Kindle right now. I downloaded this on my Kindle. Um, it's a book by Marie Kondo. She's a wonderful Japanese woman, and it's New York. it was a New York Times bestseller. It's called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, the Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing. And I'll show you right in the begin. In the, um, there it is, this blue one right here. Okay. I got it yesterday and I'm 83% done with the book. So it's an easy read. It's a wonderful read. And I am so motivated right now. I can't even tell you. And the life-changing magic of tidying up. Well, hello, you guys know I'm a Virgo. And I pride myself on the fact that I purge my things all the time. I have no, you know, I get rid of things. I keep a very neat, clean house. I put things back when I use them. I don't have clutter around. I'm surrounded by things that I love. So I'm thinking, 
what, how does this pertain to me? Like, you know, well, okay, let me tell you something, you guys, this is going to be, it's our, I haven't even started doing the techniques yet. And I'm already feeling that it's life changing. Basically, she has you go through every single item in your home, every single item in your home, not kidding, and put your hands on it and ask yourself, does this spark joy? And that's the only thing you need to ask yourself. Does this spark joy? And if it does, you, d you don't decide what you're throwing away. You're deciding what you're keeping. And she breaks it down, and that sounds overwhelming, right? Because, oh, my God. And even I, who purge and get rid of things, and, and my auction halls, you guys know, right? Um, so I have a ton of stuff. Still, I would like to think that, you know, I don't, but I do. And I'm not happy with having a ton of stuff, and it weighs you down. And it sounds very daunting at first, but she breaks it down into categories and the first category that she breaks it down into is clothing. So you start with your clothes and, uh, yeah. And then you literally, and then there's an order of how she goes through the clothes, tops, bottoms, clothes to hang, socks, underwears, bags, accessories, clothes for special events, shoes. So you literally take all, and this is what I'm going to start tomorrow. And what I'm sharing this with you guys is because I'm going to be doing a series of videos based on the KonMari method. And with my own house and laying all my things out there for you guys, um, and for me, it's cleansing and this is going to be healing and magical for me. Uh, it's going to be a journey and life-changing, and I already feel it. I'm really excited about this. So I will be starting tomorrow with my clothing, and what she has you do is literally go every. And, you know, you guys, it's easier for me. I understand. I live alone now. My kids are not at home. I'm not living in the same home with Tom. So all, you know, it's just me. I get it that it's a little easier, but anybody can do this. She has you take all of your clothing, and this will be with any item, but just for this category, right? Shoes, bags, hats, clothes, underwear, everything, drawers, dressers, from the coat closet, from everywhere you may have a piece of clothing, the laundry hamper. Pull it out, throw it on the floor, and sit down. And go through the categories, starting with tops. All your tops. And seasonal things. There's no, you know, she doesn't believe in storing seasonal items or anything like that. And you go through every item. And you pick it up. And you look at it. And you, does this spark joy? And it might be something that, you know, oh, well, someone, you know, like, someone gave me this shirt. Well, you know what? If it's not serving its purpose anymore in your life, thank it for a job well done. And let someone else have joy. She goes as far as showing how to fold your things. And, you know, it's a very feng shui kind of being. And I'm very interested in living a much more minimalistic life. And that's why it's kind of funny because I'm going to segue into an auction hall, right? I'm talking about getting rid of all these things and I'm, I'm going to show you everything I got. So this will be a process, you guys. But know, that, know this, that even last night at the auction hall, at the auction... I've already started employing this. As things would come up, there were bowls that came up, say, for instance, that normally I'd be like, eh. I ask myself, does this spark joy? Do you, you know, do you need this? How much do we need, you guys? What do you need? What do you need? You need food. You need shelter. You need protective clothing on your body. You need love. You need music. You need good food, right? That's what you need. All the rest is just stuff. And we're so weighed down in our stuff. So please, if you're interested in this, I highly recommend this book, okay? Again, it's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, The KonMari Method. And check it out. I, I downloaded this and, uh, you know, I could have ordered the book, but see, those are going to be my... I can already tell. Clothing, I'm not going to have a problem with. Books, uh-huh. Art supplies. Um, I can already identify problem areas for me. So this is going to be challenging. Uh, makeup. You know, I have secret halls too, guys. But I'm going to lay it all bare. So I will clearly be titling those videos, you know, the KonMari method or whatever. So you'll know if you're not interested in that at all, skip them by. Um, but if you are interested, 
please join along. Like I said, I'm really excited. I'm going to spend the rest of today um, doing some art. I mean, I told you I'm going to work on my uh, Gypsy and Witch page as well as the Mike Deacon page. Put this stuff away, and then I'm telling um, tomorrow morning I'm going to start this whole Kamari method thing, and maybe even tonight. Who knows? But either way, I'm going to film it, and I'll be starting with my clothes, and we'll move on from there. After clothes comes books, then papers, then miscellaneous, which she titles kimono, which I think is a wonderful word. And then she even further categorizes that. Literally every single item in my house, you guys, it's going to be, with the exception of, I don't look at me making exceptions, but anything that's heavy and hung on the wall, this one-legged girl is not going to be pulling crap off the wall. But I will address it. I will put my hands on it. We will discuss it. Uh, I'll have a conversation about it. So I'm really excited about this. And um, like I said, I can already feel that it's going to be life-changing. So a lot of purging going on right now for me. Um, a lot of just making way for room for good things to flow into my life right now. So I encourage you guys to join me. So speaking of getting rid of things, let's talk about what I got at the auction last night. You guys... I'm really excited to show you what I got because, hello, <sighs> including a, a couple gifts from Kat, and shout out, you know I'm going to do it, shout out to Kat, and shout out to Patty and Jonathan, and shout out to Ross, and shout out to Sherry Baby, and shout out to Diana, and, and Caitlin, and Milana, and everybody who I love, and Eagle, and Mary, hello. Um, the list just gets bigger each week. Sweet Priscilla, beautiful Priscilla, happy birthday. Um, yeah, it's like a giant hug. And next week, you guys, it's funny how the universe works. They're closing down. We actually had new seats to sit in last night. Okay, we're moving up in the world. They're shutting down next week for painting, I think. Okay, which will be fine because we had made plans. We're going, speaking of Sadie and Elise. We're going to their house for their auction. So it'll be a different auction hall next week, you guys. Um, and and I'll, fil I'll do some filming there, too, so you guys can see the difference. But so we had a great time last night. As always, uh, lots of good conversation. And um, I had some, I told you, Patty and Jonathan, take good care of me. They take good care of everybody. But shout out to my sister Patty, especially for the funky hippie chic boutique. I've been posting her daily dress vlogs. And she's been doing amazing. So if you haven't checked her out yet, check her out. I post them on my Facebook page every day. Uh, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, definitely give her a shout out. And you guys, Happy Mail will be mailed out on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, I'll have everything ready to go. I would do it tomorrow, which is Monday, but Tom is working. And I'm going to need his help to bring the boxes um, and things to the post office. So um, if you've sent me anything and you're still waiting uh, to hear back from me. First of all, know that I love you all. Um, but second of all, yes, I bought, got an order and to, I'll be sending them out Tuesday. So without further ado, I'm looking down at the, um, bill from the auction last night, which came to $30 and 59 cents. And a lot of that was tax total without tax. It came to $24 and that included, um, Tom got two pillows, really cool, like, um, I want to say tribal, but they're not tribal, more like ethnic, maybe like Inca, Peru kind of feel to them, nice decorative pillows, and I told them to just throw them in a, a low dryer with a, a wet, a damp washcloth with some essential oil on it to kind of fluff them, um, anyway, so two of those, and I was a little bummed, he... You know, we don't, he, he, like me, we, he doesn't need anything either. So we, we're pretty, you know, let a lot of things go. But there was a beautiful, large, rectangular canvas of the Meet the Beatles, the black and white Beatles faces in a row, John, Paul, George, and Ringo in a row. And it was on canvas, and it was beautiful. And I just had my hand up. I was like, hello, we're getting that. And there was somebody in the next row over who wanted it more than we did apparently and that's the way it works at the auction i get it but sometimes it's like i wanted that you know and anyway it wasn't meant to be right it wasn't meant to be 
So for $24, Tom got two pillows, and then I'll show you the rest of what I got right here. Um, I bid on these because, oh, I don't know, I don't have enough beads. And in the Kamari method, when I get to art supplies, I'll show you all my beads. But yes, I got this for $1, this handful. And I'll show you, and this includes a pair of earrings. So... There's this necklace, and I will not be using this as a necklace, although it's lovely if you like these things, but it's not my style. Um, I mean, they're just beautiful seed beads, right? Look at that, right? I'm like, it's not my style. Let me put it on. Yeah, it's just, it's a little too much for me. You guys know I'm, I'm more of a delicate I would like one strand of beads, you know. So anyway, I will be altering this. Look at this. It's caught in my hair. I'll be uh, using these in crafts and artwork and things like that. So I will probably just cut the strands. Um, I did hang a few more um, beads in my window. That's a little thick for the window, don't you think? But so I don't know what this costs new. It's in really the clasps. That's another thing. Obviously, when I cut all the beads apart, I save all the jewelry. Um, although, with the KonMari method. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, this is going to be interesting. Anyway, so these, and they have matching earrings, which are not my style at all. Okay, not my thing. They look like little octopuses, don't they? I'd like to be under the sea. All right, and then here we go. This one, this is kind of cool. I mean, I love seed beads. You can't go wrong, right? This is very similar to the purple one, but this is various shades of golds. Right? Good clasps again. So I'll put those in the to be altered because I will not be wearing them. And this, this is old school too. This is like grandma's costume jewelry. Beautiful kind of Aurora Borealis crystal. Um, I love that. And this is definitely will be used in a... Look at that clasp even, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? See, I don't care if it's fake crystal or real crystal. If it looks that pretty to me, it's real to me. That brings me joy. Those colors, that iridescence brings me joy. So if that, it's just cheap glass compared to a million dollar stone, it brings me the same joy. So that's just me. I would have no problem. First of all, I don't, I, I had a diamond ring when I was married, um, but I'm not a diamond girl at all. And I'm not, you know, you guys know that. I'm not a gold girl. I like natural stones, things like that. So anyway, a dollar. Okay, a dollar. And um, yeah, you can't beat it. So then, this is what I really wanted, you guys. And I wound up leaving a, I paid, for the next thing I'll show you, it says tool lot. I paid $5 for a box. And I left probably 80% of the box there, which had nails, uh, screwdrivers, weird tools like uh to put a screen door in i might have thought to keep them for a junk drawer collage or something but i was thinking uh, last night kamari where are you going to put that stuff what are you going to use it for it just wasn't practical i have tons of nails tons of screws things like that so i left a lot there but what i didn't leave there was oh number one i think tom must have wanted these because he's left these in my bag so here was an example, a 10-piece hose clamp. I guess Tom must have wanted those because I would have left them there. But this is an example of things that we get all the time in random box lots that are just like nothing. So that could be used in a project, though. See, that's, I'm like, oh, what could I make out of that? That, a pair of safety goggles. Not clean at all, but these are... Pretty heavy-duty ones. I have a really cheap pair that I got at the dollar store, so I will be washing these. I will be using them. Use these all the time if you're doing, you know, your Dremel or anything where 
pieces of stuff can fly at you. Drilling dominoes. Um, okay, what else? This cool, like, old rusty spatula putty thing, which I thought was neat. And I'll use that to lay some paint on a canvas. A random one-armed ballerina, which I have an affinity for. Oh, it looks like he doesn't have any arms at all because they didn't make them. But it's a, this looks like a um, jewelry box topper. And this will definitely make it to a junk drawer collage. And speaking of that, I will be doing a junk drawer collage. That's funny. Uh, Maria Kondo calls that miscellaneous kimono. I might do a kimono collage because that kind of does mean odds and ends, bits and pieces. Um, so maybe as I'm clearing things out, that junk drawer is going to have to kind of go, right? So maybe that'll inspire some pieces. So one of those. But the real reason I got... Oh, wait. And this also, which is cool. And this is like... I forget what they call these guys. It's not a slide rule, is it? Is this a slide rule? No, it's like a caliper thing. Right? I don't I for, I don't know. I mean, obviously it's for measuring. It's like all I think is like <laughs> pinching the fat on the back of your arm. What is this called? I know you guys know. Let me know. Is it a slide rule? No, it's not a slide rule, is it? Maybe. Anyway, that, that's not why I got it. And this shoebox, this plastic shoebox, is not why I got it. Although, if you know anything about the Kamari method, she has you save shoeboxes. So, not, not save, like, to have an abundance of, but save to use to organize. Get to the point, Callie. These two boxes, these two boxes are the point. What might they contain, you ask? These are old school, you guys. Look at the writing on this, or it's stamped in at the top. Look at what it says. Exacto knife set, okay? Both of these. I saw that, and I was like, oh, I must have them. So this one has an assortment of old Exacto and craft knives, and I will be cleaning these up, okay? Here's another one. There are extra blades still in the package. Oh, I know. I wanted to ask you guys, does anybody... Oh, wait. Let me just show you. Here's another one, a smaller one. And then there's some old blades, old rusty blades, which I'm pretty positive <laughs> that I won't be using these old rusty blades. We'll see. Uh... If I don't use them, I will put them in a collage of some kind. What I wanted to ask you guys, do you have any idea what these things are? They reminded me of, do you remember back in the day when you would buy the pencils where you could push the lead through and I would have a little lead and you'd put it through the top? I know my sister used to have those pens. So I looked at them and they have these little things. Do these go to like... I don't know, a wood burning tool or something. It's definitely hard. I don't know. That's all I could think of, like a, almost like a soldering kind of a tool or something. I don't know, but there's two of them. I won't be using them, but that was that. And then in the other box is the same kind of thing. So this box also has... The knives and extra blades. And I just, I think it's great. So I got excited about that. So five bucks for everything in that box plus more stuff that I left there, right? So that's that. And then the next thing I got was gifted to me by my beautiful sister, Kat. I saw it when I walked in, and she got this for me. He's missing a piece, and I don't care. I love it. And she pointed out the missing piece to me, and I was like, I don't care. I love it. Okay? It's just... <laughs> Kamari, does it spark joy? Yes, this piece sparks joy. It's a sculpture of a moon with a, with a little guy on it who's looking 
through his, look at the moon. Now, the guy, obviously, who's missing, look, they're his feet. And he must have had a place because, look, this guy lifts up. Look at his face. And there's a little, another spyglass in there. So, and there's the mark on that. And that fits together. And this is the back of it. I love it, you guys. It's totally textured. Look at his foot. Just the work on this is exquisite. He's got like a little bumblebee butt. And this one, to me, that looks like a piece of cheese in there. So I don't know what this guy looked like. But the bottom says Night Watch Harmony Kingdom. So I might look that up just so I could see what he looks like. Maybe I can make a little polymer clay one to fit, fit it. But honestly, I don't mind him just that way. So isn't that cute? I love it. It sparked joy. It sparked joy. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, if you watch this video to the end, write the word spark joy in the comments. Let me know. All right, here we go. This next thing, you're going to die, you guys. I died. I died. This was $10. Oh, no. The pillows were $10. This was $7, what I'm going to show you. And I will be looking up the price later on online just because I'm curious. But, okay, it's a tin, which, you know, I will be covering in polymer clay. So, why did you pay $7 for a tin, Callie, you might ask? Well, let me show you, I might say. Um, let's see. Can you guys say airbrush? Can you say airbrush? Because I can. I can. Hello, this is everything except the compressor. And, oh, don't you know, Tom has a compressor. You guys, like, my heart started doing the... All right, this is a Thayer and Chandler airbrush system. Okay. It Medea airbrush, airbrush products. I'm going to check it out. And it came with... Black, white, ultramarine, cobalt blue, toledine red, Hansa yellow, chrome green, violet, dinatrial orange, and raw sienna. Colors. Airbrush medium. And, oh, they're full. You guys, I'm dying. Dying. I have wanted one of these, like, forever. And... <clears throat> I don't know if you guys watch LaCree Fine Arts. Rita Marie turned me on to her. If you haven't checked her out, she's amazing. She uses an airbrush. And watching her work, you're like, I want an airbrush. I want an Oompa Loompa. Well, you guys, $7. Are you kidding me? I'm excited. I'm going to take it to a whole nother level. Okay? So that sparked joy. So much joy. Okay? <laughs> Had to have it. And then, this next thing was also gifted to me, to me by Kat. And I, I can't even tell you how blessed I am to have her in my life. And I love you so much, Kat. Shout out to Caitlin, her daughter. <laughs> Who was wearing her moon necklace last night. Little Caitlin had her moon necklace on and showed me. I love her. Kat was like, I think these are good, right? She hands me this case, you guys. Okay. And it says top, top. And as you can see, oh, what's in there? Oh, I think these are good ones, right? That's what she says to me. So I'm like, what do you have? I open it. You guys, can you say Prismacolor? What? Are you kidding me? I, I almost fell over with my crutches on the floor, and I couldn't believe it. Holy moly. And they're all good. They're all juicy, if you will. I tested them last night. They're double-ended. They're magnificent. 
They're wondrous. I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. Wow, you guys. Okay. Uh, hello. Thank you, universe. Thank you, cat. Thank you, cat, for being in the universe. I got to take another sip, you guys. Sippy, sippy. Graveyard girl. So funny how many people love her. What does she have, like 6 million subscribers going on 7 million or something? Good for you, Graveyard Girl. And I am a card-toting member of the Swamp family, so I got you. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys, you guys, last thing I'm going to show you guys is, cost me $1, one whole dollar. It's brandy new. I have plans for it. Like I just said to you, the kimono junk drawer collage will look perfect in this brand new shadow box. What? Dun, 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 dun. Mm, 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 mm. It's wood. It has glass. Okay. It sparked joy. Oh, lots of joy sparking. Look at the butterflies. The butterflies spark the joy. I'll cut them right out, too. Too bad they put the words over the butterflies. So, I'm sorry. I'm, like, wiping my nose. Hello. I have a tissue. Um, yeah, you guys, a dollar. So, uh, I have my work cut out for me, don't you think? And I start to think, like, when the purge, that box in the closet that has, like, projects that I want to do. And this is going to be interesting person who I mostly feel sorry for through this whole process will be Tom and Nick because they're going to be the ones who are going to have to carry the crap out of the house. And I have a feeling that that, you know, wait for a garage sale day is not going to come. I think I need to just let it go. Bring it to the local donate place. Let my, you know, send the message out to the kids that I'm going to have stuff available. And then I wish I could mail it to you guys. But alas, I cannot. You guys, it is 47 minutes we've been hanging out. Like I said, if you're here with me and you stuck it out, I love you so much. Thank you so much. Um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Write the word spark joy if you feel like it. Check out the KonMari method, you guys. And let me know if you're interested in these videos. Either way, I'm going to post them. So if you're not interested, don't check them out. I love you. I'm going to stop talking right now. Blessed be. Have a beautiful week. I'll see you on Wednesday, if not sooner, with other stuff. Who knows when you're going to see me? You could be seeing a lot of me. So, I love you guys. I love you.